finished talking about brain cells, we finished talking about the cerebral cortex and all its higher functions. Now we're going to go into the deeper brain and we're going to talk about first the hypothalamus. This is a super important part of the brain. It's, uh, it's got tons of functions. Um, first of all, there's a nice mnemonic for all these functions that is TAN hats. So um, TAN hats stands for the T is for thirst, okay? The A is for the anterior, anterior pituitary gland. Hypothalamus secretes um, the hormones that uh, stimulate the anterior pituitary gland. N is for the neural hypothesis. That's another fancy word for the po um, posterior. It's something that, that shoots hormones into the posterior pituitary gland. So the hypothalamus um, shoots hormones into the posterior pituitary gland. H is for hunger. Hypothalamus regulates hunger. A is the autonomic nervous system. Super important. Um, T is temperature. Hypothalamus regulates body temperature. Finally, S is for sexual urges. Hypoth hypothalamus does that. So tan hats is what the hypothalamus does. It's, you can see it's super wide ranging. It's responsible for stuff all over the body, hormones all over the body, growth, um, autonomic nervous system, that's fight or flight, rest or digest, uh, hunger, thirst, super basic life functions. So now hypothalamus, you can it's a small little thing in the brain right here. Um, we can break it down into many different parts. So th there's multiple nuclei in the hypothalamus, um, each responsible for some of these 10 hats functions. So first of all, there's the lateral and the medial nuclei. The lateral nuclei makes you hungry, okay? And the way you remember it is when you get an injury to the lateral nuclei, that makes you lean, okay? You're going to lose all your hunger. You're not going to eat. You're going to get lean. So lateral nucleus, lateral injury to the lateral nucleus makes you lean. Opposite is the ventral medial nucleus. I just, I honestly just think of it the medial nucleus, but it's the ventral medial. It's the opposite. It gives you satiety, makes you full. So opposite, obviously, if you get damage to this, you're gonna, um, you're not gonna feel full. You're just gonna eat and eat. You're gonna get a fat. Just remember the lateral nucleus and remember the medial part is opposite. Same idea for the anterior and the posterior nucleus. Anterior is cooling. It's it's also parasympathetics. This makes sense. Cooling para, when you're when you're parasympathetics, you're resting and digesting. You're trying to keep you're co keeping cool. It's the way you remember this is a anterior cooling. So AC is anterior is cooling. Posterior again is opposite. So so easy. Okay, so easy. P opposite of cooling and par opposite of anterior is heating and sympathetic. So that's what the posterior does. You don't need any mnemonic. Just remember that it's the opposite of the anterior. Posterior is opposite anterior, so easy. Now the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Uh, you're gonna learn a little bit more about this later, but the chiasm is optic chiasm. It's um, you got your little eyeball here, okay, and then it comes here, and there's a chiasm. It's where it crosses, and it's right by the hypothalamus. So this is regulating the circadian rhythm. We're in light and sleep. It's all it's all related. Circadian rhythm is from the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Um, Finally, we have the supraoptic and the paraventricular nuclei. These nuclei make ADH and oxytocin. These are two uh, hormones. One um, gets you to uh, basically retain water. It's the antidiuretic hormone. Oxytocin is for the stimulation of the milk glands to um, contract and secrete milk. These hormones are made in the nuclei in the hypothalamus, and they are um, sent down to the posterior pituitary, which will release these two hormones. Finally, I think I said the other one was the last one, but this is the last one for sure. This is the preoptic nucleus. It's um, thermal regulation, sexual behavior, regulation, release of GnRH. So again, we saw that hypothalamus has lots of functions, easily summarized in tan hats. And you can divide the hypothalamus into many nuclei, um, which are responsible for each of these functions. And a lot of these nuclei are really easy to um, understand. It's, um, it's lateral, op and lateral makes you lean. If you get injured, the medial nucleus is the opposite. Anterior nucleus, remember AC, posterior is the opposite of that. Suprachiasmatic is easy. It's just right by the eye, light, and um, your circadian rhythm are all super interconnected. Um, Superoptic and paraventricular, you got to rem remember that a little bit more, but that's the pit and, uh, posterior pituitary hormones um, production area. And finally, the preoptic nucleus is thermal regulation, sexual behavior, and release of GnRH.